have a nice little uh, spot here. And uh, we are next to the lifeboat that is coming in now. So, I guess we are safe. It's good to be friends with these guys. A little uh, expedition on land. <laughs> yes. We have rented a car and going to check out the uh, Black Houses, Isle of Lewis and Harris. Yes. Yeah. And hopefully, we'll see some Black Houses, some stones, yeah. beaches, yes. maybe some tweed. Oh, tweed. <laughs> Do they have a distillery here as well? Uh, I think they do have two actually, so... Good to go! We got a little Kia something and Jeanette has already installed herself. Are I you ready? With the the co-driver yes. is ready. Yeah. So, let's go. We have uh, arrived to the northernmost point of... What is it called? Waterloo is lighthouse. The butt of Lewis. And uh, I can see here that it is over. It's very old, 37 meters and 52 meters above sea level, it says here. The station's claim to fame was getting into the world, the Guinness Book of Records, some years ago, as the windiest spot in the United Kingdom. And we're lucky because there is no wind today. No. And uh, so this is. Uh, just it's built by T David uh, and Thomas Stevenson one of them uh, uh, is the father I think of uh, Stevenson uh, who wrote the um, jungle book jungle book I don't know. wasn't that Kipling <laughs> that was Rudyard Kipling that's yeah. <laughs> what did he write then he write the treasure island the treasure island Okay, I don't know. Where are you taking me now? To uh, visit our first black house. But uh, it's the first. We're Ever? Gonna, yes, and we're going to see uh, more before the day is over. Oh. This is the famous black house. Yeah. So you think they would have had cows in here because of... Um... Or just a toilet for everyone, maybe. Oh. No, I think they would go outside. You think? Yeah. And they would have the... And these, this is uh, something, Pete, this is what they still use. To yeah. yeah, there is a today. fire in there. No, no, no. And, and the smoke just goes out through the windows, I guess. Mm. But it is a backdraft now. This can't be right. Why do you say it's a backdraft? I mean, could they have been living with the smoke all the time? Yeah, th this is... Uh, isn't that why they are calling the black house? <laughs> because... <laughs> it's black inside. Yes. It's black inside. I don't know. So this was a, a, a good first visit, I think. It was interesting to see. And the thickness of the walls. Yeah. The walls are really, really thick. I mean, how, how big? How Do you think 150? Yeah, probably one and a half meter thick. And the roof thing is... Yeah. But they, 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 they are much, or it is much bigger than I thought. Yeah. yeah. I thought the uh, Black Houses were smaller, but maybe there is different sizes, but this is the one that they have kept. Okay, we've seen the black house and uh, yeah, it was not that much to see, but it was interesting since we have been reading so much about it in the PTMA books. Yeah. It was, um, yeah, I don't regret I, I went here, but uh, what do you say? <laughs> huh? Are you happy that you saw it? Yes, yes, yes. And I'm looking forward to see a whole village where we're heading next. Oh. Are we at the village now? Now we are at the village. The Black House Village. 
So in one of the houses there was a weaving demonstration. Mm -hmm. So I guess you can see how they weave the... Uh, what is it called? The Harris tweed. Look here. How they have fixed the roof so it mm -hmm. would not blow off. And then they have stones on top. This house was a little bit more modern, modern in there. They have like a fireplace and a bed and they have a fireplace in there. Where it is. So you would get very strong legs when you, you would do that? Uh, I don't know. They last 70 years anyway, so... <gasps> have you done this for 30 years as well? 70. 70? having anything in your ears because this will get you to be deaf. Well, I can't hear anything anyway. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's sometimes that good, isn't it? <laughs> so about 20 meters in an eight hour work day. Yeah. yeah. But I I thought this was worth the whole entrance fee to yes. see the guy uh, weaving. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. That was interesting. Yeah. And uh, quite noisy and uh, a good leg work there. And cold. Yeah, but that was the house, yeah. But I get he, he keeps his warm from pedaling. Yeah. So that is how the Harris tweed is made. I, feel like I just read inside there that this village, there were people living until 1974 when the last four women and a man left. They were actually living in these houses as yeah. they were black houses. Getting help from the community as they grew older, they got help from the community fixing the roofs and whatever. And one poor woman, she went outside and she broke her hip whilst getting some water inside. And this was like in the 70s. Wow. Yeah. That's very... They were tough women. I'm sure they were. Do you think they were tougher than you? Yeah. You think? Yeah, I think. Hmm. Yeah. But women they are tough. Yeah. Yeah. They are. But they were really strong and tough in those days, used to very much hardship. Not expecting anything else really. Wife, can you explain this to Husband. me? Husband. Where are we now? Now we are at the Halanish. Uh, Standing stone circle. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> One of three in this area, I think. And here, here actually, these circles they say were built in the Bronze Age and Neolithic period. And there are super many of them mm. all over England. <coughs> Scotland, this is Scotland only. Yeah. yeah. And why? They don't know. They don't know why they build these stone circles. They don't know, no. There's yeah, but it's the same. this must be the same as Stonehenge, or? Possibly, yeah. Or something have to do with it. It did ah. take time, as, as they did with uh, Stonehenge. It was built during a long, long time. Yeah, <laughs> and I think it has something to do with the sun. Mm. We're going to have a look. What did you say about the difference? Well, the, the stones in, in Stonehenge are more massive. These ones are... Uh, bigger? They're bigger. No, th these are smaller. These are smaller, but they're also thinner. So yeah. Just smaller, but also and they, thinner. They are, they're, 
and they are in a circle here, but they, they also go like... In Swedish we would call this sköppsättning. Yes, we would. Yeah. I, I read somewhere that they uh, excavated here, so I guess these have not always been standing. So when they were built on the Bronze Age, not, but they were erected during the Bronze Age, then they probably fallen down. And then in the 80s they started to raise them up again. But you also said that they found uh, ashes here. Yeah, they found ashes in an urn that they, uh, it's humans that they bear, burnt and buried cremated, here, I guess, yeah, yeah, and then buried here. So the, it has worked as some kind of some cemetery as well. Mm -hmm. One, they don't obviously know who has been buried, was it? Oh, they didn't have a plaque on it? No, maybe it was priests or something like that, or ordinary people. So we said that we did all the stenar in Sweden, mm -hmm. we did Stonehenge and now Callendish stones mm -hmm. in, within 12 no months. Not the same year, but no. in the same 12 months Rome. period. Yeah, Not Rome bad Rome. for being tourists. <laughs> no. You would like to have one of these dresses. But I don't know when to wear it, so. no, And I would like to have one of these, uh, maybe. But I thought that one was quite a cool thing. Ski jacket, kind of. It's a Japanese designer. Mm. It was very nice to have seen it now when we are in that Harris Tweed land. And uh, we bought ourselves, not in the exhibition, but we bought ourselves a pair of slippers, slippers with like a sheep uh, thing inside and very because we have very cold floors in the boat when yeah, we okay. sail in cold waters that happens and uh, Jeanette doesn't like my old ones so now we have new mm -hmm.